guys and welcome back well there's been a change in events with wendy williams update now we have wendy williams a close family member shooting down her guardian claim that uh, wendy is now permanently incapacitated she says no 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 baby that is a lie Oh, yes, yes. Now, Wendy Williams, she said, is more clear now than she's ever been. Now, this family insider gave an exclusive to DailyMail.com following Wendy's guardian, Sabrina Morrissey, claims that the beloved host dementia battle has rendered her permanently incapacitated. Now, as you know, Wendy, 60, was diagnosed with aphasia and frontal temporal dementia in May of last year. Now, the diagnosis came one year after she was placed under a court-ordered legal guardianship that oversees both her finances and health, which was appointed by her bank, Wells Fargo. Mm-hmm, yeah, I, I, I think the same way, yeah. Now, last month, the attorneys for the Star's Guardian, Sabrina Morrissey, claimed in a new filing that Wendy had become cognit cognitively impaired and permanently disabled, incapacitated. Same thing. Now, it's been the latest update since the Where is Wendy Williams docuseries uh showed it uh, aired in uh, february of this year now however a family insider hit back at that claim regarding wendy's mental status and says and i quote she is more clear now than she's ever been throughout the guardianship which is a problem for some mm, yeah i got it yeah it's a problem for her loved ones because this crazy ass guardian i'm sorry y'all i'm so sorry i try to be professional make it make but sense. sometimes make it makes woo. sense and this with wendy williams i've always said this is some bull it's some bullshit y'all because how in the world a bank can appoint a legal guardian for you when you got family members and loved ones and they just took it upon themselves to say, oh, your family member's not good enough. We're going to uh, select you one. This is crazy. And now we're seeing that they're lying. They're even lying about Wendy's condition. Now, this whole time, I said, all of this could have been induced. You know, it's induced, you know, when they got, when Kevin Jr. and Kevin Sr. took Wendy to the hospital. Well, when she had a rehab stint, that's when she was diagnosed. And they told them that this was brought on by alcohol, this dementia. But as you, as we all saw on the documentary, they had Wendy drinking like a fish. Wendy was drinking. Wendy was going to the liquor store, you know. So uh, I just don't trust this whole thing with Wendy. And I, I, for the life of me, it's some reason why Wendy's family is not uh, fighting this harder. Because, you know, if it was my loved one, you know, I would be on TV 24 hours a day saying this is not right and da, 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 da. But, you know, there are her loved ones like her best friend and now this family friend, they are speaking out. But her brother and her sister in and niece. So it just, you know, it's more to this than we can see. I'm sure. I'm sure. Because like I always say, and you've always heard me say, Hollywood don't play fair. Okay. You get that shiny diamond, you know, that you wanted. You get your riches and everything. But very few of them live long enough to enjoy it. You know? It's like when you become unable to supply this money that you've been 
giving them and producing for them. They whether see you dead or, you know, they get more money out of you dead than alive. But this is this is crazy. This is crazy. And as you know, um, the uh, Guardian, she fought for lifetime not to air this. But the judge let them air it anyway. But she fought. She didn't want this aired. And, you know, the people who are, this got backlash. I, I didn't see it that way. I saw it as this was a cry that Wendy was not being taken care of properly. And I was glad for this show so that the family could uh, go to court and say, hey, you know, she's not being represented fairly. She's being neglected and da 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 da. We want to get full custody of her. You know, and, and I don't even know if they're saying this. I don't even know if Wendy's with, you know, for a long time, Wendy was in a facility and the family didn't even know where she was. So I don't know if it's that way. I, I, I don't know. But I do know this family friend is speaking out and saying, oh, no, 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 no. Don't believe the hype. Wendy is mentally competent. There you go. They're, they're trying to make Wendy incompetent so that they can still be over her money. Mm, mm, mm. And you know, after um, the Guardian tried to uh, stop it from airing, now... Lifetime and A and E and all the other uh, production companies involved, they are suing Sabrina Morris. Yes, they're suing Wendy's Guardian, saying you know that she this this documentary clearly shows they had exploited her and they had neglect. Wendy was alone, isolated, and neglected. And if anyone watched that docu-series, if you haven't watched it, I really um, ask you to watch it. Because if you didn't think the same thing, something's wrong here. Let the church say amen. You know, Wendy was thin. She was by herself. Now, if she was incompetent that you had to get a guardian over her money and her health, why was she living in New York alone and getting a cab, going to the liquor store and everything. I mean, no, 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 no. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, I tell you, but it's something. It is something going on here. And you know, at one time, Wendy's brother was speaking out, saying that, you know, they were exploiting her and, you know, and he was speaking out firmly saying that she wasn't in a good place and that we haven't heard from her brother now after the um docu-series aired we heard from her niece we heard from her sister who is a lawyer but you know at this time we haven't heard from any of them and it's a reason why they stand back and we heard from her son you know the son was like they had said that i was exploiting her but i was not when she was with me, she was uh, looking good. She hadn't fell off. She was eating. And I had her not with alcohol. I would not give her alcohol. But these people were giving her alcohol. So, mm, this is awful. Well, I, I still have, like I said before, I still have Wendy on the prayer list. I'm praying for you, Wendy, and I hope y'all will too, because Wendy needs all the prayers she can get, because this is, this is something. Then next we'll hear, oh, like Whitney, oh, she drowned in a tub, and she's dead. <laughs> Don't think I had not forgot about that one. Okay, guys, I leave the question. Well, first of all, I'm going to thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being loyal listeners, and I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to give it back to you. What y'all think? Hey guys, that's it for me. 
Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always important, be blessed, y'all.